June 13, 2014. Uh, I got the phone call around 10, 10 20 p.m. Um, that my son was shot. Um, him and his girlfriend, Jacinta, they were both shot in the head um, by another man. Um, he was also shot. In the process of killing my son, he lost his life too. I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy to lose a, a child. You know, um, prior, to, prior to losing my son, I lost a husband and a father um, 11 days apart, and which, which was Avion's father, you know. And it's nothing like losing a child. I mean, I can't even explain the feeling. You know, um, as like I said, at the crime scene, it was a couple, couple people, a couple ladies I know who lost children. They was there to comfort me at the crime scene. They're still in my life today. But, um, you know, and it, it's, it is sad where, you know, in the society today, you got to hope and pray your child come back in safe. You know, I have four more other sons, you know, and I, I pray on the daily that they come back in the house safely. You know, um, I just saw my baby the day. I just. I just saw him that Wednesday and um, he wanted to show me his new house. And um, I went over there. I just met Curl and just sit the mom for the first time. It was, they just came from grocery shopping. And we sat on his bed, and I asked him, I said, what you gonna do for your birthday? He said, my mom want to rent a party bus. You know, my he was murdered a week before his birthday. Um, yeah, he was murdered a week before his birthday. And um, I won't wish that on nobody. My worst enemy, I won't wish the death of a child, you know. And, he passed away June 13th. His birthday was June 21st. And he was going to be how old? 21. Yeah. And Jacinta just made 18, March 11th. I hate the games, period, you know. I hate my son got caught up in it. You know, um, I, can't, I can't fault myself, you know, because I did the best I could with what I had, you know. Um, is this the choice that my son made? All I can say is I hate this. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. You know, I have seven kids, and I'm my seven. Just two chose to go their route. You know, um, I, can't, I couldn't even tell you to this day when and where it happened, but it happened. Well, you know, when, my, when their father was living, their father passed from 08, and prior to their father, passing away, they might have been in gangs, but it was low, it was low key. It wasn't out there. I didn't find out to my I didn't find out none of this until after he passed away. And that was that when I became a single parent. You know, um So how old was he when you found out? I'd say maybe sixteen. Yeah. Did I want to hear that? Hell no, you know, no. And I guess what how they fooled me because it wasn't never nobody hanging out in my house. You know, I'm not. I never been in gang, so I didn't know how the gang life go. You know, and by no one never hanging out to, not hanging out in my house. You know, I'm thinking. You know, my boys was okay. You know, not knowing the real. Now, do you are you concerned in a different way now because you just lost one? Because of, uh, you have another son out here that's in the streets? Yeah. How, 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 do, how do you deal with that? It hurts, you know, and, and, and you know, like I told him one time, if I could just chain you to a chair and keep you in the house, I would, you know, but realistically, you know, he's grown, he knows the streets, he knows what just happened to his little brother, you know, and um, only thing I do as a parent is pray that they make it home safe, you know, and it hurts me so much because I'm powerless over the situation. You know, um, that I can't do nothing. You know, um, one point my oldest kids was telling me, move out the area. But if I move out the area, they're going to come back, you know, because we was, we, like I said, I've been over here over 10 years, you know. Um, 
So that 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 one that one ceased nothing. When it happened, I was I was mad. I was mad at God because um I felt that um so many other people, you know, turn out wrong, turn out bad, or whatever, or make made made bad decisions, and then they get a second chance, you know. And it didn't happen for my son, you know. Um, I was mad, you know, at God, you know. I know we all got to go. Don't get me wrong, but like I said, I was just focused at the time. You know how you give other people chances to turn their life around. But you couldn't let my son, and he was on the verge of trying to do the right thing, you know. But um, someone had to bring, pull my coattail and tell me, you know, Janet, don't be mad. And then some people told me that, you know, because I would ask the question, you know, can I be mad at God and thankful at the same time? Thankful because I'm still clean and sober and mad because you took my baby. You know, so when I got the answer that I wanted to hear what was that was yes, you know, I felt more at ease. I think I've been in jail. I don't know. A lot. He brought somebody's arm. He brought somebody's arm back to a meeting. And that was Jay Blake's arm. Yes, that was Jay Blake's arm.